Hi there. This is Janalee Fowler over here in Salmon, Idaho with Brokered by eXp Realty. And it's February, which means we get to take a quick moment and take a look at how the January real estate market performed here in Lemhi County. So let's dive right in. All right, first we are going to go over residential homes. So in January, we had 38 active residential home listings. That is down just two from December, which was 40. We had six new listings and two of the listings went under contract, which was the same as December 2022. Now we did only have one transaction close for residential homes in January of 2023, which was down from four in December, but there has to be time from the time the offer was submitted to the time the offer closes. And so that would have put that time frame right during those holidays, the Christmas, New Year's. And so it's completely understandable that only one transaction actually closed in January. Now list to sales price ratio, the one offer that did close offered 275 and that was the full list price. So it was sold at 100% of the asking price. That is a change from previous months because other um, in December, November, that was always between 95, 92, 93%. Now, average days on market did go up. We are sitting at 180 average days on market. That is the time that you list a home to the time that it accepts an offer and goes pending. So 180 days is the average right now. I am seeing homes that are priced under about 350,000. If they're in good condition, in good condition and priced well, those homes do sell still under a month. However, if it is ask, asking for a little bit of a high price or it needs some work in that home, those are taking a little bit longer to sell. Now, average sales price, like I say, we only had one transaction. So that sat at 275 for the one transaction that closed in January. Now, land for January, um, we actually have 32 active listings, which is down from 36 in December two new listings for land and eight under contract. That eight under contract is great news. It shows spring is coming and the business is starting to pick up a little bit on land, which is completely normal. That is up from five that went under contract in December. Now we had three transactions sold, which was down a little bit from, Jan from December of 2022, but that's completely normal for the January market. Now list of sales price ratio on land stayed steady at 93%. That is only down 1% from December and has been kind of where land has been um, all throughout the year for 2022. Now, average days on market for land did go up about 4% to 167. So from the time that you list land to the time that it gets uh, under contract, sorry, on average, it is 167 days right now. We do have a lot of land lots that have been on there for over a year. And so that's what's driving that uh, days on market up a little bit more than normal. Our average sales price was 45,000, which means out of those three transactions that sold, they must have been pretty small lots, um, probably an acre or two acres um, on average. And that is our January market statistics. All in all, it, the market did slow down a little bit, but with it only being one month into the year, I can't tell if that is due to the higher interest rates and the uh, worries about inflation, or if it's just because it was during the holidays during that time frame, And so there weren't as many um, contracts that went pending and were able to get closed. All in all, it looks like a good outcome for 2023. Looks to be right on schedule. And come spring, we'll see the market tick up a little bit and get a little bit more busy. If you have any questions about buying or selling real estate, feel free to give me a call. My contact information is just down below in the details. You can always like this video and you can subscribe to this channel if you would like to see future videos show up in your YouTube feed. That's all I have for today. Make sure to take care out there and stay warm. Oh, 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 oh,